Yo, welcome to BeachBrotherhood.com and in today's execution plan we're going to be covering how you can create the perfect workout finisher. If you're unfamiliar with what a finisher is, it's basically a really quick, short, uh, intense uh, conditioning session after you lift. And there's a few benefits to this. Number one, it gets your conditioning up, um, which more of you should be doing, especially if you're getting older. Don't worry just about lifting weights. Obviously, lift heavy, get stronger, get bigger, get more jacked. But you want to make sure that you're getting your conditioning up too, because number one, it's good for your heart, and it just gets you in overall better shape. You know, um, what good is it if you're big, jacked, and strong if you can't run away from an emergency situation, or you can't run? towards your family if something's going down. You know, you have to make sure you're in shape and you're ready to go if shit goes down. So, um, a really simple way how you guys can implement this into your daily routine. Finishers are exactly what it sounds like. You take the last five or 10 minutes of your workout or after the last five or 10 minutes after you've done your, your lifting session and you put together a short circuit um, and wrap up the session with that. Really cool device that we use here at the pit and that I use when I'm at home is called a Gym Boss. I'll link this up for you guys. It's an interval timer. Okay, it's got a stopwatch, a clock, and an interval timer that you can set rest times and, um, and work times. So basically how I set my finishers up for athletes here or for myself is I do, I pick, I pick a range of exercises and make it a total body workout where I lift or I do body weight exercise, okay? Um, the weights don't have to be heavy. And I usually pick stuff that's easy to switch around. So I'm not gonna pick a bar bench or a bar squat uh, or a bar deadlift or something that I have to change plates. I'll pick exercises that I can bang out quick and I can switch to the next one very quickly, okay? This is good for a few reasons. Number one, you're not overexerting yourself pushing super heavy weights. Uh, and this, this finisher is more about training with volume and uh, using the intensity through high volume as opposed to the intensity of heavy weights, okay? So a typical finisher for me, which I'll list for you in, in the drop down uh, menus below, um, or the toggle button, the toggle menus below, uh, is I'll do total body exercise or total body workout uh, with multiple body parts, okay? So I'll start with hips, a hip movement, and then I'll do a leg movement, and then I'll do an upper body pull, an upper body push, and then maybe uh, some ab work or some core work, decline sit-ups, things like that. So a sample finisher for me would be, in this order, kettlebell swings, uh, maybe dumbbell front squats or goblet squats, um, and then I would do maybe pull-ups or uh, dumbbell rows, because they're easy to switch. Uh, you can do kettlebell rows too if you have a kettlebell at home. Uh, maybe a floor press or a push up, and then maybe some decline sit ups or uh, Russian twists or crunches. Um, and we'll link all these exercises up for you guys, okay? But the bottom line is you want to set this interval timer to do a work period and a rest period for rounds. So let's see, there's kettlebell swings, squats, um, a pull, like a row, a push up and an ab exercise, so that's five exercises. So maybe on the interval timer, I set it to be 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. So basically, I'm gonna bang out as many reps as I can of kettlebell swings for 30 seconds, and then get 30 seconds rest time, okay? Once that 30 second rest is up, I go into my dumbbell front squats for 30 seconds. So you don't have to worry about counting reps. You don't count reps, uh, you just do as many as you can, as fast as you can, keep the intensity high, make sure your form is solid. All right, after the squats, you get 30 seconds rest, then you do your pull-ups for 30 seconds, or rows. 30 seconds rest, push-ups or floor presses for 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest, and then uh, finally your ab exercise. Now, this works for a multitude of reasons. The first is because you're working your entire body, okay? And you're not just doing, um, you're not just doing any exercise. You're not doing an elliptical or, or a, a treadmill, walking on the treadmill for 30 seconds. You're actually kicking ass and you're lifting and you're doing some sort of resistance work, okay? This is going to help burn more body fat, keep the intensity way higher, which you know we preach intensity here at Beach Brotherhood. Um, and 
It's going to use your entire body. It's going to burn more calories and it's going to help you preserve muscle mass, okay, which is huge. So the intensity is a key factor in the preservation of muscle when you're looking to cut down. That is huge. Now, by no means do you have to follow that exact template, okay? I can even give you another one. So maybe in this one, we do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, okay? This is known, most people know this as a Tabata workout. Um, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you would do this for rounds. Um, and when I say rounds, so you maybe would do all those five exercises, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, maybe eight times, okay? So you would set your timer, for 40, um, for 40 rounds on the timer, and you would go through all five exercises eight times, and that's 40, so that's how we get that number. Um, but the key is to take your rest when you need to, and then crank the intensity up from your work, from your work periods. Another cool thing that you can do with this, with this finisher is, instead of rest, maybe do an active recovery. So another way to crank the intensity up even higher, okay, is to do your is to do your resistance work, your your kettlebell swings, your squats, um, your rows, your push-ups, and then your ab exercises. And instead of taking a full-fledged break in between, you would jump rope, okay. And it's going to elevate your heart rate, but it's not going to keep it too high to where uh, you know you're 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 killing yourself, okay. You're burning more calories, your heart rate suddenly elevated. Uh, but it, and it does it does help you crank the intensity up a little bit, okay? But there are a number of ways that you can do this, okay? But we will just cover those two. Um, I'll leave you a few more examples down in the how-to section below. But get one of these Gym Boss timers. I'll link it up for you. I'll show you exactly where you can get it. Uh, and that's it. Don't forget to check out the recommended products, which where the, which is where the Gym Boss timer would be. And then um, ask your questions around how to create awesome finishers, okay? It's not rocket science. There's a few main components to these finishers. The first is setting rounds with a timer. The second is picking exercises that are easy to switch to and from. And the third is to work your entire body, okay? But we wanna make sure that because of this high volume, we're not increasing risk factor as well. So you wanna make sure while you're doing these, these high intensity exercises or you're doing these total body exercises, you're keeping the risk factor for injury low. It's very easy to get injured when you're doing a lot of high volume work, okay? So moderate weight, fast reps, be explosive, keep the intensity high, get one of these timers, and there are a ton of ways you can implement this in your workout, okay? Read through the toggles below, guys, for more information on how you can create your own workout finishers, and uh, I'll see you in the next execution plan. Thanks, guys.